In a previous video, I provided a brief introduction to Zotero. Zotero is a, an open source reference management um, system. So it allows you to save references that you've found on your university's um, library website, um, books you may have found on Amazon, um, websites, um, links to YouTube videos, etc. So what it does is it'll compile that information and it'll allow you to create a bibliography and in fact there are ways to um, incorporate it into Word into your citations and then it'll create the bibliography. But um, and what you can do with this is you can create folders for different areas you're working in. So I have a bunch of different folders here for courses I teach or for um, research projects I'm doing. And so let me just use this Zotero one, so just a blank um, a blank collection here. And just to recap, I've gone onto my university's website and the library website, and I've used ABI Inform to search out some information for the economist Steve Levitt. So let's say for argument's sake, you know, I'm interested in um, Mr. Levitt's work and a little bit about him. So let me just click on a few of these um, articles that um, he's participated in. So now what I can do is I can go up here and you see this uh, folder icon. And that's because I clicked on several different articles. If it's just one article, it'll look like a little document. And I'm going to click that. And it's going to say, which items would I like to save? These are all the articles that are searched out here. I'm just going to pick these three. And I'm going to say OK. And if I go into my Zotero account, there they are. So what I want to show you is how to share these with someone else. Now, there are more sophisticated ways to do this in Zotero. You can create a group and have a lot of different researchers add references to the library, to the, you know, and then, you know, uh, change what's there. But say you're just doing a, a project with one or two other people, you might just want to export the, um, the references you've found. So here's how we can do this. This is very easy. So you click on the reference, and I'm just going to highlight the ones that I'm interested in. So I clicked on the first one, and I hold the Shift key, and I'm going to click the third one. And then I'm going to right-click the mouse, and I'm going to say Export Items. And there are different formats you can export them in. Um, RefWorks, which is something that we used to have at the university here until they discovered Zotero, and Zotero is free and does much of the same um, same things. And no, uh, there are a lot of different uh, approaches or a lot of different formats. This is fine. We'll say Zotero RDF and let's say OK. And I'm going to call this item, I'm going to give it a name, and I'm going to call it Zotero Test. And I'm going to say save. And I think I saved it to my um, desktop, hopefully. So if, I've, if I download that, I can email that to one of my colleagues or several of my colleagues. And then they can import it. So you click import. And again, um, there are several formats, a bunch under this heading here. And then there's also a reference management program called Mendeley. I guess that has a different format, so you have to specify that. So I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to search, and I have here uh, Zotero Test. And I'm going to click Open and Next. And three items imported. And it's created a folder called Zotero Test. And there's the information. It's exactly the same as what was in the uh, previous Zotero account, but this is a great way, an easy way to share some references without setting up a group for um, something that you're working on.